A very warm welcome to my wonderful star seeds. This is your astrologer friend Sarah, giving you a very very warm welcome. And um, if you are my returning subscriber, lots of love. Thanks for being around. And I love your vibe. I love your energy. And if you're a new um, subscriber or a new viewer, most welcome. Warm welcome. So yeah. The plank is for you as well. <laughs> Energetically, there is this feeling of um, equanimity. There is this feeling of love, friendship, for sure. So you are from my soul tribe family. That's why you're here with me and sharing this wonderful mystical space with me. So let me introduce you to today's wonderful topic, which is when will you get married? Yeah, you heard it right. For my wonderful singles, when are you getting married? And when are you attracting your next seriously committed relationship? And when are you going to meet your partner in question? Is it going to be your twin flame? Is this going to be your soul connection? And uh, of course, when are you going to meet them? What are their qualities going to be like? How is your relationship going to be with your uh, sweetheart, with your love interest and how will your marriage be like and um, what kind of uh, collaboration will you be having with this wonderful spouse or this wonderful partner of yours. So let's straight get into the reading and let's do a little invocation, a little prayer to my Aradhya, Lord Shiva, in the form of Mahadev and Mahakali and my Vaigru Sabji. And I'm also invoking the wonderful energies of my ancestor spirit guides and guardian angels to help me while I go through this wonderful reading of understanding about your life patterns in the way of romance, in the ways of relationship and also maybe a business or a career collaboration, if any, with your partner and uh, with the wonderful blessings of the divine. Let's start. So firstly, I want to ask that have you already met the person, your partner to be? So the answer that has come here um, we've got two energies. So first, I've got the wonderful page of wands here. Now this definitely is suggesting a new idea, a new inspiring idea. Now the idea here, of course, is the inspiring idea of falling in love, being in romance. And uh, -uh this is not somebody of your past. You are not attracting an uh, ex, right? This is a brand new energy. This is a new beginning of a journey and the journey of a very fiery, very passionate, uh, energetic, youthful association. Because, you know, we've got the page and we've got the wand. So this is suggesting that the person could have um, major planets in the fiery signs which is Aries, Leo, Sag and or the sun moon rising could be in these zodiacs for sure um, and it is also suggesting somebody who's very youthful and emotionally could be immature in the matters of love and you have definitely yes not met them this is a vibrant brand new wonderful energy and because you know uh, things you can see, uh, you know, it's budding. The, the newness and the new beginning and the freshness is coming across in the energy of the page of wands. And so, you know, uh, the vibrance of the energy of the page of wands here, you can see he's holding wonderful new buds in his hands and he's in a flourishing environment. So this card is you know, inspired by a very free spirit and also a very young, youthful energy. So the partner who you're going to attract will have, you know, uh, 
they could be doing something absolutely inspiring absolutely something new some venture some collaboration in fact this collaboration is um coming here that it's also suggesting that you as a couple could do something which is very um what should i say which is very motivating very inspiring together you know you inspire them and they inspire you to become a better version of yourself and also there's going to be a lot of adventure a lot of passion in this new partner of yours and your association with the new partner and also there's a lot of hope for having a very beautiful future together which is very you know like the adolescent the teenage vibe uh, you want to know things and you have this quest for learning and you have the yearning for newness freshness so this kind of a vibe and this kind of a energy is very relatable and then we've got the wonderful ace of now the next uh, um in line we have the wonderful ace of swords here which is showing that the partner who you're going to attract will have a lot of mental clarity and there will be active amount of communication between you and them and the ace is definitely suggesting again a confirmation here that this association is surely not of the past there is no previous hints of um, the past looming or lingering in fact this is the brilliant newness and this energy is also speaking about the intellectual realms which you will experience with this wonderful new partner to be and also there will be a significant breakthrough you will have new ideas intelligent interaction and your association is going to be very communicative you will be exchanging wonderful ideas together whether you know you write to each other a lot or there is spoken communication but this is showing you to be in a very encouraging expansive mode with your partner and you'll be embracing new ideas and you'll also be craving for mental stimulation and you'll also have the opportunity to do lots of new learnings together in the intellectual and in the intelligent way if i may so say and then um ace of swords of course is like i said the confirmation is that a new project yes i always say love is a beautiful project on hands so since it's a love reading and we've got the energy here of the ace of swords so you're embarking and ingressing in a brand new beautiful vibrant association and it speaks of a beginning of a beautiful journey yes and over here um you know you will succeed in all your endeavors now in the past associations in your romantic liaisons in your romantic associations when you know it could not see the light of the day and you could not continue but this time the road is slightly challenging i feel that i get a message of course from the ancestor spirit guides that the journey is not very smooth the road could be a little bumpy but the message across the message is very powerful and the message which is coming is of responsibility this time your partner takes active responsibility probably in your previous associations the partner was not very responsive and was not uh, giving you this vibe of being very responsible in the relationship but this time you know um, and also i see selfishness in your past association and also you know there was this power struggle and they were aggressively want wanting to be powerful that feeling was very overbearing in your uh, last relationships but this time i see your association that your power will be um uh, in a very beautifully adjusted way you know like okay we'll understand this further
this time your association will have lot of mental clarity the mental agility will be there the wonderful flow of communication between the partners will be there and i also see your partner to be uh, you know standing up for causes to be speaking and lending their voice for fighting against the injustice and also you know the argument will be for the matters of truth they could be you know somebody who's very compassionate and somebody who fights for human rights and who's always standing up against all odds and who will always make a point when they know that they are truthful they are right uh they will always speak this is the kind of quality which is also coming across and uh, this also tells me that they will be very truthful with you in their association and um let's see what are the qualities or um yeah what would be the qualities of the partner so i've got this wonderful new deck here which i will live shuffle in front of you that what are the qualities of your future spouse wow wow so this is also a little confirmation a bat a blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided so this probably means that you have gone through a split there is a breakup there could be a divorce or there could be ending of a relationship or association which has happened and now that ending will be like a blessing upon you why because we have one more energy here a blessing on growing older now this time because of the past associations which you've gone through it's emotionally made you very mature and you really know now how to handle a relationship how to deal with the emotional conquests and the emotional findings and the emotional cravings so you've really learned it the very hard way the very tough way because you've gone through your emotional battles for sure and you've come very mature very sound very able to handle a wonderful beautiful new association and a blessing is also coming on your creativity so um the future partner in question is a very creative person and a very romantic person as well because romance is all about creativity if you do the same things over and over again the partner will be so bored and creative things are not boring they bring in life so that's why romance the fifth house energy in uh, the kalpurush kundli the cosmic man's horoscope is the house of romance and it's also the house of creativity and also the house of intelligence because you have to be very creative you have to be very intelligently now we've we've got the wonderful ace of swords also speaking about the communication in a very intellectual and intelligent way so the partner in question is a very intelligent partner and a very creative partner and a very romantic partner so when you learn from this reading their qualities you will also know how to put your best foot forward because you know that these are the qualities of your future partner and that's how they can be um what they can be approached yeah in a in intelligent and a intellectual conversation you can have the captivating impact on them and then i also wanted to ask that how will you meet them yes and um, how would you meet your future partner so this is the life shuffling yes wonderful we've got we've got few cards here so first is aquarius collaboration now when you go to a party or you're in a social gathering you could meet your future partner there you could meet your um beloved your spouse your long um pending association that soulmate twin flame vibe you will experience through friends some friends could introduce you 
or like I said that you've gone to a very big social event maybe you're working and there is a seminar there is a project meeting or you know I see that there is a stage and there is a huge event happening and your partner to be goes on the mic is kind of a guest speaker they speak on a certain subject like I also see that uh, a humanitarian a philanthropic a person standing up for human rights so maybe some podium some platform like that and they are called as a speaker and you know they address it and you know there's eye contact and after the seminar the meeting your meeting happens something like that and like a third party or somebody introduces you this is an event of a third person and you meet them you know there's somebody who's collaborating your energies together and of course it's going to begin with great amount of friendship you know because um the aquarius is originally the 11th house in astrology which is about great friendships which is about your advisors which is about your confidants so if i may so say this will start on a beautiful note of friendship and they will find a camaraderie with you they will find common grounds of interest through speech like you speak and they understand through speaking that you are so there's so much common and there's so much oneness so yes this is coming across how do you meet them and then we have the wonderful scorpio energy investigate now this is again confirming that okay your breakup uh, your tough time you know it came across in the association the conquest the battle the heartache heartbreak and you maturing that energy has come now we're talking about them so yeah they've gone through a breakup and they've been pretty depressed in the matters of love they've lost hope uh, maybe they stop believing in love or romance a part of them which is not true because i think they're very much of a romance person and we've got the wonderful aries energy after meeting you they will definitely want to start a new beginning a fresh start because aries is the first in the zodiac it speaks of new beginnings it speaks of a lot of passion fire a very intensified a very you know very impulsive energy and it's not a very planned and it's not thinking about the pros and cons but suddenly you know they get the vibe that you are for them they are for you and um they have this immediate connectivity so that kind of a thing is coming and scorpio energy is suggesting the split the break and mulling in the dark and crying over the spilt milk and doing a lot of a lot of uh, introspection a lot of investigation that why things happen the way they happen but you know i, I was just thinking that whatever has happened is not your fault it was karmic you know it's a karmic circle it's a karmic journey which you had to go go through like they say you had to kiss those many frogs to finally kiss your mr right your prince charming and yes so this is the journey and uh, the investigative uh, thing is there like i told you that they're not too sure they're not too certain because too many unpleasant deceitful associations in the matters of love and romance they've had in the past so that could be something which you know they keep holding back i mean they come few steps forward to you and then you know they want to recede and they want to think they want to investigate and they want to be very sure this time are you the right person so okay you could give them time and you could give them time to heal and uh, have they already healed i i wanted to ask uh, i'll do live shuffling and wow it's already come are they healed will they be healed see now we've got the energy of the devil so 
Oh, this is suggesting that in their mind, they could be thinking about their ex. They have still not gone beyond the influences of the past, the negative past. I wouldn't say the past was so rosy and hunky dowry. No, nothing like that. It's been a dark past. It's been very mystical. Now, Scorpio energy makes much sense. Uh, devil is the devil is showing the energy of uh, Capricorn. Okay, and yeah, but then there is this. Um, I I get the message from the ancestors spirit guides that they have been in an unhappy relationship, but it's been very addictive. Since you know they're so used to. Uh, the comfort zone because it's a known devil right then the unknown angel that you are this is the known devil so they find great comfort so there is this susceptibility of either going back or always manifesting or thinking that maybe the partner the ex comes back and maybe they could rekindle an association so this is the energy which they are mulling in and which they are uh, you know, in a cycle going through this energy, but not to worry, this negative chain shall break. And uh, I, I just wanted to tell you that they are workaholics. They work very hard and they burn the midnight oil to meet the deadlines of the business of their office work. And they are very dependable. This is the most dependable uh, and the most hardworking of all the zodiacs, which is the Capricorn energy. So your partner in question is a very hardworking soul. But yes, that's the truth. They have not got out of the thoughts of the ex-partner. But don't worry, we'll get them out. We'll do remedies. Don't worry. We'll break the negative influences and we will deal with this situation together. You're not alone. I'm with you, Starseed. I'm your astro friend. Don't worry, okay? So, um, what's the energy? Okay, why not we ask now, how's... Yeah, when you meet, let's ask, what's going to be in the vibe? What's going to be in the air when you meet? So, I'm very curious to know. Let's do a live shuffling. Let's know it together. Wow. You got this energy. Wow. I don't like this energy here, but we've got, we've got the... Okay. Okay. This could have multiple meanings. So we've got the three of vessels here. Now, uh, okay. It could also be that, you know, you get the person and the person already has someone else in the side and but the relationship like we had the devil energy it's uh, not a very conducive we've got the death energy here as well so it could be that straight after the breakup or straight after deciding that they need the break you enter right and they're very taken aback at your at your ingress and you're entering like a beautiful, vibrant, vivacious, glorious, magnificent energy in their life. And they're like, oh, wow. You know, you strike them on the face like a thunderbolt. And uh, yeah, good, good. You're, you're um, what should I say? It's a very powerful entry <laughs> that you make into their life. And then, there is this situation like a triangle you them and the partner before but not to worry they they will be rejoicement and there will be pleasure there will be merry making times together in your association with them and let me ask that in how many days of your meeting them do you expect a full-fledged romance and we've got the one more card <laughs> in how many days so wow it's now this is amazing we've got the new beginnings we've got the number one then we've got patience we've got the number two here and then <laughs> we've got the number three creativity so i told you that your partner will be very creative 
and since it's one, two, three, it's much in synchrony. There's hardly going to be any time that romance starts, and you know, you he starts or she they start looking at you with their rose tinted glasses, and they find their dream partner in you. It's just going to be a very instant kind of a connection, and like I said, that um, yeah, your partner will be very creative. This game in the previous reading and you will have to have patience because the coming going of the past energy is also kind of i could read it but exercise patience because it's going to be a wonderful new beginning you and this wonderful new partner and deal with the partner with lot of creativity do different things not the usual that you probably have been doing and let's quickly get a love message that what does the person in question what well, what is it that they want to tell you this is a life shuffling what i got the message so this is wonderful uh, we've got the freedom energy here and there is nothing stopping you the path is clear so be what you want to be so definitely like i said this is a confirmation that almost you know instantaneously your connection is sparking romance it's sparking passion it sparks desire it's almost instant right and probably after one day of your meeting the second day they realize it more and the third day it's even more and um, your path will be clear and whatever you want this relationship to be you can make it so let's have a message from the universe in your connection so yeah after the life's shuffling here wow see letting go letting go and this these are the days of lord shiva right and see lord shiva has come to give you this message letting go there will be difficulty in letting going the past karmic partner but like i requested you to have to have patience and when you have patience this wonderful new partner will be in your life in a very beautiful way and also you know everything could appear to be out of control but god is on your side your ancestor spirit guides and guardian angels are on your side giving you this message that with the blessings of lord shiva all the confusions will be cleared right and then the second message in here which we have is of liberation yes so the message here of liberation means that um, yeah so whatever doubts and whatever confusions you have will all dissipate and you will very well deal with the whatever negative events or negative things which are karmically you know engulfing and sabotaging your relationship you definitely will experience liberation with this partner of yours with the blessings of lord shiva with the blessings of mahadev so it's wonderful i feel like taking uh one more card or so that uh, you and your partner <laughs> so many cards keep coming i only need few so my ancestor spirit guides and guardian angels what are the messages that how will your relationship with your partner be like so oh my god we've got the ace of cups it's going to be a very emotionally nurturing and a very fulfilling and a very um very nourishing yes nurturing and nourishing very compassionate very sympathetic 
a very sweet energy either you're a cancer scorpio or pisces watching my reading and then there's we've got the fire sign here we've got the aries leo sag so definitely your sun moon or rising could be in cancer scorpio pisces and your sweethearts could be in aries leo or sagittarius so yeah and your association trust me will be a new new event for you and a completely wonderful new association for them now the ace of cups is suggesting that there is a overflowing love and there is a overflowing energy of passion mm, passion no not passion exactly but there is compassion there is empathy and there is true flow of emotions like love friendship very pure and also this is the intuition within you which will guide you that this is your partner to be and also the person in question will also be psychically you know getting the message from their ancestors spirit guides and their fairies and angels that you are the destined partner for them and also there is you know lot of um beauty which is blossoming around which i see in your case and also awakening of the very human spirit which is to love which is to have compassion right and also you know this is a symbology of divine love and which is flowing probably through your subconscious mind into your conscious awareness so that's the wonderful energy here which i so see for you and your partner and let's take a water break see we're talking about the water sign so now it's time for you also to go and catch your refreshing your refreshing drink it's time to refresh and it's time to energize and you know your association together will of course you will experience rich flowing uh, emotional energy exchange together there will be deep compassion and also divine love and lot of truth a very beautiful spiritual association which i see and you will embrace it with a open heart and your partner in question also has openness this time in the relationship and also there will be wonderful amount of creative expressions which you will have together there's a lot of creativity also which is coming in your reading if you can see and also you will be very happy in expressing your emotion to your partner and they will also be very happy to express their needs and desires and romantic quests and pursuits with you and also there will be wonderful friendship there will be new family which you will have together with your partner and also blossoming romance now this is a very you know the cancer scorpio pisces has a very romantic vibe and a very it's got a deep psychic connectivity as well uh which you will experience so your connection will be extremely special in nature and also this time first time in your association with your partner you will actually give them permission and they will give you permission to actually effortlessly enter into the zones which you always kept so private to yourself because you never had the confidence that the other person is so reliable so giving and could be a, a perfect partner to you so you will be opening up to them and you will be giving them your best and vice versa right it's not a energy which is a very dry energy that you keep giving 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 and they keep receiving 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 oh no you will uh you know be changing positions sometimes you're the giver they are the receiver sometimes they are the giver and you are the receiver 
so um, the receptivity and the effects of trust love romance i see at glow yeah and also eight of wands is suggesting a very quick passionate romantic a very sudden kind of a, you know like hit by the thunderbolt i told you and uh, the vibe is uh, you know it's kind of a confirmation which is coming the third time that you know suddenly there will be this eureka moment and they'll be thinking oh where was she till date and you will be thinking oh why didn't i meet you before where were you all this while so you know that kind of a gush that kind of a rush so the eight of wands speaks about swiftness suddenness and you know immediately the mind is informed that yes there is a beautiful romantic partner who is or has the propensity to turn into my beautiful spouse to be my life partner always to be and my twin flame soulmate uh, soul try family person here so that information and that you know new person and communicating the new idea and the new message which is of having a brilliant beautiful new romance is here and of course this indicates things happening at a very momentous at a very um thunderbolt lightning speed of light that kind of a vibe so i think it's so beautiful and the reading has been so positive i mean i'm so happy and i feel so nice as i bring i mean i the, i'm the herald and i'm bringing in this season of love this season of dependability love friendship and trust into your life and i am the harbinger I'm your messenger. I'm your astro guide here, and I love doing your reading. And I'm so happy that you could join me to understand that what's with the future spouse? How's the interaction going to be? How's the vibe going to be? How do you meet? And etc. etc. I could bring across these wonderful, brilliant messages for you. So, um, if you wish for personalized. one to one interactive wonderful sessions astrology or nakshatra or tarot oracle readings and also they are and also they are wonderful remedies also which are booked here in our company so you are welcome to get those vedic ceremonies done the mantra chantings done and it's all done in our wonderful organization here at Sara Astro Tarot and yes i i got a call uh, just a second i'm i have to make the phone silent somebody is calling me now this could be an indication your love yeah they will be connected through the calling i mean after your meeting them or after they come to know about you the call could be there for you so yeah you're welcome to book a personalized session to know exactly about your spouse and where are they going to be from what profession same race or somebody no same race is there they're also human beings from your human race but yes from your same soul tribe family or not also many other things which you could understand and also you could uh, yes you could come or you could have a zoom session as well so with lots of love that's all that i have for today and i hope you enjoyed the reading tremendously because you know what i love doing the reading and let's thank the spirit guides and our ancestors spirit guides and guardian angels and our aradhya mahadev mahakali bhai guru ji for giving us such a accurate and such a brilliant prediction for your love so wishing you all the best 
and with lots of love i'm going to see you soon at some other reading and lots of love from your astro friend sara bye star seeds do subscribe ha huh? if you've not already subscribed and you're welcome to write your comments and also like and i forget to say this hit on the bell icon right and become a part of the wonderful starseed family so lots of love bye starseeds